Hi, my name is Siddharth Kutratya and I'll be your instructor for the day. This video is in continuation to our previous video on white noise and we'll be focusing on the Python implementation on how to code what we have just learned. So previously we read about ARIMA and what it stands for. Here we'll showcase how to do that in Python. Uh, we're going to need pandas and we're going to need stats model. Both of them come pre-installed with Anaconda. We're also going to need matplotlib to plot them. Uh, we're going to use the data which we used previously. So this data was uh, taken from a Gaussian distribution randomly. Um, there are 100 data points in a series. And what we are doing here is we are fitting an ARIMA model. So as you can see, we load our data, which is, which we, the previous classes, which we took from a random distribution, randomly from a Gaussian distribution. Uh, to call our model, we're gonna use Arima, which we can get from statsmodel.tsa.arima model. We can import Arima. So Arima will take a couple of things. It will take your series, which is going to be an array of your elements and the second thing is going to take is order so in order it's going to expect three things uh, as previously we discussed uh, in our in our class which was the first thing it's going to expect is the lag uh, so arima stands for auto regressive integrated moving average and auto regressive you need to specify what lag do you want to take so this five here is what lag do we want then comes the integrated part integrated remember uh, what we did was we difference the series to take care of stationarity here we are doing the same thing we are specifying which order difference do you want to take here we are going for one the third part here refers to the moving average here we have taken zero so remember with moving average what we were trying to do was we were also trying to predict the error term for the future prediction so that we can make better better prediction here we are taking zero what we are what we are, what we mean by that is uh, we are not going to take that into account here we are not using we're not trying to predict the error term to make better predictions if we took one here it would it would take that so once you have defined your model uh, then you you can fit your model with model.fit once you have your model you can predict so here, as you can remember, our data had 100 entries. Here the model has predicted for each entry what the next term is going to be. We are only using the autoregression uh, auto uh, with the integrated series. We are not using the moving, uh, moving average part because as you can see, we have a zero here. So the model has predicted uh, what the next step is gonna be. Of course, uh, the length of this prediction is going to be 99 because uh, the model will not predict for the very first part. So for the very first element of the series, it will predict what, what the second part is going to be. So the length of this predict uh, prediction array is going to be 99 rather than 100. So this is what our model predicted. As you can see, uh, the original model, the original time, time series or data series was this. We fitted our ARIMA model to this and what we end up getting was this as you can see our arima model did pretty well it was able to capture the peaks and lows at the end of our at the end of our time series and even with respect to time it was able to capture the increase in variance now let's uh, We have not discussed Arch model yet. We'll do that in later videos. This is it for now. Thank you.